Hi everyone, I hope you're having a gorgeous evening. Welcome back to my channel and to another video. Here I'm in my room where I'll be for the next month. Um, the UK has gone into a second lockdown so the next few videos will probably be take place in my room a lot um, so I do apologise for the lack of variety um, but I thought I'd change the position of where I'm sitting today just to spice it up a bit but anyway um, today I wanted to talk about self-confidence I spoke about this in my other video where I um, chatted about my ongoing battle with body image and um, how I'm trying to teach myself to love myself um, and I said in that video that I wanted to continue doing these types of videos because it's a subject that's very important to me um, and I've struggled with confidence and body image most of my life <clears throat> so today I thought I'd give some of my tips on how to be confident not just in your body but also in yourself and your everyday life so my first tip is one that I feel like people say a lot and um, it's definitely easier said than done but I think for me at least it really rings true and that is fake it to make it there have been so many times where I have been anxious to do a presentation at school or, or talk to a new group of people that I've never met before and I've been super anxious in these situations and I feel like what's worked for me in those situations is to pretend that I am confident, pretend that I have done this before and this is a walk in the park and pretend that you're not your anxious self in that moment and don't quote me on this because I don't know science but um, I'm pretty sure that's how it works when um, if you're feeling down apparently if you smile even it's a full smile is meant to release chemicals that help with um, your happiness and trick your body into thinking that you're happier than you actually are and I think it works the same with the confidence issue if you pretend that you can do it like pretend that you are an actor acting out a scene you need to do a presentation for your class at uni or school and pretend that you are confident doing it i think you become more confident as you do it and i definitely think that has worked for me in the past and i'm not saying it will definitely work for you but i really think that tricking yourself into believing that you're more confident than you are can really help so tip number two is you have to start believing that you are the main character in your own story and not the side character in somebody else's there have been so many times when i have passed up on events and opportunities um because of lack of confidence i worried about how I'd look, how I'd sound, um, that I was too fat or not pretty enough or not athletic enough to do things. And I look at the, I look back at those things, not with regret. I don't believe that you should regret things in your life because there's, you can't go back and change them now. But I see them as lessons. And I think those are, they, a lot of those were opportunities that could have led me to, to a lot of different things. Um, and led me down a different path that might have been really, really amazing. And I myself stopped that because of how other people perceive me. And I think that's where the problem is. If you're the main character in a story, you don't worry how other people perceive you because you're the main character. You're, you are the focus of the book or the movie and it shouldn't matter what anybody else thinks. So I think you really have to put yourself in that mindset of you decide you decide whether you are confident that day and you should decide that you are confident that day and you should shouldn't let other people's opinions affect that because really they're side characters in your story they not, are not as important and i'm not saying treat everyone like shit because they're side characters in your story but like for every individual person, you are the main character in your own story and other people are side characters. So you wouldn't, shouldn't be worrying about what the side characters are doing. You should be focusing on you and what you want to do and not let the opinion, and not let the opinions 
of side characters affect what you do and I think that's a real way of gaining confidence and that really helped me because I one day I just realized like no this is my story this is my life and I get to decide what I want to do and I don't want to let lack of confidence hold me back on that if I want to go do something I'll go do it no matter if people think I look stupid doing it and something that doesn't harm, bring harm to other people go do it like just enjoy yourself and remember to live for you and not for the opinions of others this brings me on to my third tip and this is one that i think about a lot when i'm out and about on my average day i take note of what i think of other people when i see them make a mistake or fall over or maybe not wearing something that is very flattering or have a bit of toilet paper stuck to their shoe or something stupid like that and i think about how much of an impact it made on me and my day yeah for example if someone fell over it might make me laugh for a sec but usually that moment is very fleeting and it's not something that i think about constantly during that day or something that keeps me up at night and i think when you're the person in that situation that has fallen over or done something stupid and really embarrassed yourself all you can think about is how much other people are thinking about you and in reality they're really not and in all honesty, if they really are, I think it reflects their personality more than yours. Because I think if you think horrible thoughts about someone and that's ongoing, then there is something not very nice about you. And you don't need to worry about the opinion of people who are not very nice because their opinion doesn't matter. Full stop, end of story. Sometimes you have to put yourself in other people's shoes, even though you are the main character in your story. And you have to think about how little of an impact your mistake is making on that person or how little of an impact your body is making on that person some people are really horrible and yes they do make it a big deal if you're fat if you're too thin but i know from my experience that whenever i'm thinking maybe mean comments about people or not very nice thoughts it's usually a reflection of how i'm feeling that day and it's usually um a reflection of how shitty I'm feeling if I'm having a particularly bad day. I think you have to remember that although you're the main character in your own story, you're quite insignificant in other people's stories in terms of what they think of you when you're out on your average day. I really don't think people are losing sleep on whether your hair looked a mess that day, whether you started a little bit in your speech, whether you wore a dress that wasn't particularly flattering on you and if people are doing that um if they are losing sleep about it or do they t do take the time to like write down to do take the time to either type out in comments or say them to your face then they definitely have they definitely have their own issues with insecurities and um feeling shit about themselves and i'm not saying that's an excuse at all but i think you just have to remember that for the good people out there which i think or i hope is the vast majority of people they're really not that concerned with you making a mistake one day or looking silly doing something they're really not that concerned i guess you have to just stop getting into the cycle that everyone is constantly thinking mean thoughts about you um or taking note of every single mistake that you make because that's honestly not true whatsoever my fourth tip is kind of what i did in my last video on body confidence and that is look at yourself in the mirror and tell yourself good things so tell yourself that you're beautiful Tell yourself that you're clever. Tell yourself that you are kind. Tell yourself that you have a good heart. Tell yourself that you're a good person because you are. And I think telling yourself those things in the mirror, looking at yourself in the eye and saying those things to yourself will make, will make you believe it. You start to believe those things if you say those things over and over again. Just like if you say horrible things to yourself in the mirror 
or you constantly hear horrible thoughts said to yourself, you start to believe those. So you need to counteract all those bad thoughts and feelings by looking at yourself and telling yourself that you're beautiful, that you're kind, that you're clever, because that is the way that you will grow in confidence, in self-love and learn to love who you are and realise that, yeah, you are a good person, you are beautiful and you are clever. And like I said before, the only person whose opinion that matters is yours because you're the main character. So look at yourself in that mirror and tell yourself good things all the time. And yeah, it might feel a little bit cringy talking to yourself in the mirror, but I honestly think the benefits of it are so worth it. Um, so yeah, please just do that. And that leads me on to my tip number five. Um, so this idea I kind of got when I saw Lizzo, the wonderful Lizzo, at Glastonbury um, Festival last year and there was this really beautiful moment where she spoke to the crowd and told us to look at the people next to us and tell each other that we loved each other, that we were beautiful, that we were kind and even though we shouldn't rely on other people's opinions it feels good to feel validation and I think that validation feels amazing when it's coming from you and you're looking in the mirror saying that so that's why my fifth tip for if you need a bit more confidence is go listen to Lizzo or go watch her glass and new performance and go and watch her many other performances I really like her NPR Tiny Desk concert too um I feel really confident when I listen to her and even if she's not your kind of music I'd say go and listen to music that makes you feel good about yourself because I really think that music is the food of the soul and if you go and listen to someone who really brings you joy and happiness maybe maybe before a big presentation maybe before a big exam maybe before you go out with new people when you don't know what to say listen to that music and psych yourself up make you feel good about yourself i think that will increase your confidence 100 um but if you're a fan of lizzo's music like me just go listen to her i guarantee that she will make you feel so much more confident in who you are and what you're doing and with that they're my tips for self-confidence and um self-love and I really hope that this video was inspiring and helpful to you and helps on your journey of self-love and growth and finding confidence in who you are because honestly you are amazing. Um, I really really enjoyed making this video and I really hope that you enjoyed watching it too um, and yeah thank you so much for watching and i hope to see you in the next one and let me know down below if you have any tips that help you for feeling a bit more confident yeah thank you for watching bye there must be something in that west coast water cause i really love the moment i saw her i've seen her places many places to wander cause i'm feeling just a little bit harder